friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela D. And if you are new here, I am vlogging about anything and everything, but most especially my journey through to become a foster parent, or as they say here, a resource parent. Today, I'm taking you guys on a trip to Ikea. So as background, I have been wanting to foster for about six years. Um, I've gone to several orientations. I have gotten so close to applying so many times, but just wasn't the right time in my life. And just recently I've decided now's the time. But in between then and now, I have accumulated lots and lots and lots and lots of baby stuff because I always knew the end game was to eventually foster. I am a huge fan of kids consignment sales. There's a big one here in Los Angeles County called LA Kids Consignment. I'll put the link down below. There are three sales in the spring, three sales in the fall, and I have been volunteering and working at those for years now because of my nieces, nephews, and godchildren. Basically, I have almost everything that I could possibly need for a foster child, except for a couple key things. Perishable foods, obviously. Formula, I have nothing. I have no formula. Um, I have a small stash of disposable diapers. Um, not enough to get me through daycare, so I have to work on that. I plan to cloth diaper at home. A lot of the um, daycares around here don't cloth diaper, and I'm fine with that. I just, it's going to cut down on the expenses if I um, cloth at home, and part of the stipend I get every month will go towards the other diapers that I use at daycare. I also do not have a convertible car seat, which is a car seat that you use. You could use a convertible car seat from birth up until they're forward facing in a five point harness. So maybe like five, five years old. So I don't have a convertible car seat, but I have a bucket car seat, which can um, be used for infants newborn to like around one years old if they're still under the height and weight requirements of the seat. But I think it'd be a good idea for me to get a convertible car seat because um, I can use it um, way after infancy. And I don't really know the age of the child that I'm going to get. I know they're going to be two and under, but if they're from one year old to two year old, they're not going to fit in that bucket. So I need the convertible car seat. Um, and I don't have a crib. I have two bassinets and a pack and play, but I don't have a crib and I'm pretty sure I'm required to have like an actual crib for, for, um, for, for my foster kids. Um, because after like six months, they got to get out of that bassinet. I mean, I guess they could go in the pack and play. I don't know. My classes start at the end of next month. So I'll let you know as soon as I know. But anyway, I'm going to go to Ikea. I'm going to look for a crib that I want. And I'm going to probably look for a dresser that I can use for clothes. And then on top of the dresser, I can use that as a changing stable, a uh, changing table, stable. Um, right now I have a dresser in my room, but it's for me. I don't have that many clothes. I am a minimalist when it comes to my clothes, but my clothing stash for my foster children is a little big, taking over two closets. But anyway, before that, I'm going to stop by a local coffee shop, or not local to me, but lo local to Burbank, California, which is where Ikea is. And then we will head to Ikea. So I will take you um, along for the ride. Follow me. We have officially made it to Ikea. I'm gonna go inside now, try not to get sidetracked by all the stuff. 
because that's what they do. They want you to get stuck in their labyrinth so you can't get out and then you have to buy everything. We're looking for a dresser that I can use as a changing table. We're looking for a crib. And I'm also looking for like a small kitchen table or a dining room table. Here we go. We're like four minutes early before they open, so that's why they won't let us through that barrier I just came across. Okay, so I took a little shortcut through that door. This place is a crazy labyrinth. I'm looking at the cribs and it looks like there are one, two, that's like a little rocker thing, I guess. Not gonna get the tiny one. There's one over here, three, four, and five. I definitely wanna find one that converts into a toddler bed so that I don't have to invest in a brand new one um, when we get to the toddler stage and one that has an adjustable base. So like if I have a teeny tiny, I don't have to reach all the way down to the bottom of the crib because I am short, like five, one and a half. I'm noticing that all of their cribs are 27 inches by 52 inches. So now it's just figuring out which one I want and which one converts into a toddler bed. I think I'm gonna go with this guy, it's white. It's $99, it converts into um, a toddler bed. All of them are the same size, so this is the one I'm gonna go with. I really like this guy, it's huge though. So I don't, I don't think I want such a big piece of furniture. But I like that it has the different size drawers at the top, so I'll look to see if there's something smaller like that. This guy could be a good option. It doesn't have the different size drawers, but I could also get like drawer dividers like that. This one is cute. Mm, good size. Couldn't fit much on the top. A little pricey for Ikea. Could get these. These guys don't have much on the top though. Much room on the top. Not so into that. And it's low. It comes up to about just below my hip and I'm only five one and a half, so it's a little short. I think these are all gonna be too tall in order to use them as also as a changing table. This guy might be the winner. It's a Hemnes. I don't know how to pronounce all of them, they're all in Swedish. It's only 179. Let's see how wide it is. It is 42 and a half by 37 and three quarters. I'll have to go home and measure and see if that fits. I didn't measure beforehand because my tape measure was in the car and I was too lazy to go get it. Let's go get a kitchen table. are all too high. Mm, too big. That circle table is too big. Aha, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, I like that one. Because it can fold out to be bigger if I need it to. 249. This one's a contender for sure. 
What? $39? Yeah, I think that's the winner. Ooh, this one is fun too. How much is it? Ooh, one ninety-nine. A little out of my budget for a table that I will never use. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this bad boy. Okay, incredibly successful visit. I was able to find a kitchen table that I wanted. I was able to find um, a crib that I wanted and a dresser. Did not even think about looking for chairs for that table. That was silly. Anyway, so the next time I come here, I will have to look at chairs, but I'm not taking anything home with me today. I know all three would be very heavy and the back of my car isn't cleared out. Plus I need to go home and measure the walls that, um, the dresser and the crib would be on um, to make sure that the ones I picked fit. And I need to rope a friend into helping me assemble all of this because I am really bad at Ikea assembly. I managed to always put something on backwards. It still works, it's still functional, it's just ugly. So I'm gonna have somebody help me do that. And then I will be all set. As always, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my channel. If you would like updates and notifications of when I post new content, please look below and click that subscribe button so that you are always up to date. I hope everybody is having an awesome day, whatever the day of the week it is that you're watching this. I hope it is great. See you next time.